Today's word is light. The light of the world is Jesus Christ. Light has come into the world, but the verse continues, but men love the darkness. Because that's what the light does. It exposes darkness and people would rather live in their sin, live in their darkness. But as we said that Jesus is the light of the world, well, we live 2,000 years post his coming, but what did he birth? Well, he birthed such a movement, a movement that brings about equality, science, enlightenment, all these good things that have been embedded into our society have been birthed by Jesus Christ. Before his coming, might was right and power would rule. But he upended that system by becoming the weakest. He became a man, which is lower than God, obviously. But lower than that, he lowered himself right to the point of death, even death on a cross. And in his utter weakness and his utter rejection and his utter defeat, he upended all other powers and authorities by his weakness. So the light of the world sheds light into our life, even if you don't realise it. Christianity is the air we breathe in the West. And people who attack Jesus use Jesus' wisdom in their attacks. But do you want to hide in the darkness? The light has dawned. Step into the light.